Hi everybody, it's Mrs. B. And a lot of people are stocking up right now because of the coronavirus pandemic. Um, so I want to give some advice to the young adults out there or newly single that don't know that's not used to stocking up the cupboards, what you should have, all right? I might teach you a couple tricks too with the saltine crackers and graham crackers, okay? The first one is graham crackers are flying off the shelves, especially the generic brands because they run about $2.50 a box, but the generics are about $0.77. Cents. That's really affordable to buy four or five boxes have on the shelf. You can make sandwiches out of these because the bread will go bad. Um, and what you're going to do, you can also make cereal. So that's what we're going to do right now. I'm only going to make myself a little bit, okay? So what you're going to do is just break up some saltine crackers, okay? Regular brand. And you can also put a cracker inside your salt, pepper, um, or your sugar, okay? And what that's going to do is soak up the moisture so your sugar comes out very easily like mine does. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit, okay? Just a little bit. And then I'm going to add my milk. A little bit of milk. All depends on how much you like to have in your cereal. Uh, let me grab a spoon and give it a taste drive. Now, I love this. I grew up on this, okay? My father taught me about this, okay? Saltine crackers, sugar, and milk. Reminds me of the old childhood days, you know? Very good. Okay, so that's that one. Next one. Now, I've seen people use butter, but I don't need no butter, okay? Break it up. Now, this one, these graham crackers, you can do plain, but these have cinnamon on them. Grab a little bit of milk. Same thing. Pour it in there. You run out of cereal. There's none on the shelves. You got it with saltine crackers and graham crackers. Okay? Looks just like that. It looks like golden grams. Oh, yeah. Why was I never given this as a child? They get soggier faster than the saltine. Okay? So you can kind of still pick it up. And then these are a little bit soggier. They're both good. So that's what you do with the saltines, okay? You can actually make some um, s'mores when you're stuck indoors. Um, I'm going to upload another video soon. What do you do if you run out of milk? you got to have milk for certain recipes and for cereal. And it is flying off the shelves in the freezer. Or frozen, not the frozen section, but you know what I mean. The refrigerator second, section. So check it out. And don't forget to like and subscribe, share this video. A lot of people have bought saltines, and we don't want to waste them if they just hoarded them like toilet paper. Speaking of toilet paper, I wanted to tell you guys, I don't have anything near me right now to show you, but if you take a roll of toilet, uh, roll of paper towels and you take a knife and you just cut down the center, you've got a roll of toilet paper, because I know a lot of people are losing out on toilet paper. And don't forget a good old coffee filter. Scratch up a few times and you got it. This is going to help you through the coronavirus uh, days that we're going through. Everybody around the world. Um, a few other things I want to tell you about is you want to have peanut butter on stock. You want to have canned goods that you can just open up like soups, um, vegetables, some rice. They're saying we don't have to worry about water uh, so far. So we're blessed with that. But you can cook rice, beans, things that, you know, you can keep for a long time on the shelf. Um, cream of mushroom, cream of broccoli, you mix that up with some rice. It'll be a different flavor every night. Um, I know now everybody has the means to go out there and buy a bunch of food and a bunch of toilet paper. That's why I'm sharing this with you guys. So I hope this helps somebody. Uh, we will get through this. Um, remember, if you do get sick. You know, be kind to one another and stay indoors. Say, uh, quarantine yourself. 
and get better. Don't stress about it. Most people get better from this, okay? So don't stress about it and make sure you're eating. You have to eat. Um, if you're struggling, don't forget to check out, you know, your Dollar Tree, your dollar stores near you. If Walmart sold out of things, there are other stores besides Walmart, okay? So hang in there and don't forget to always say your prayer for your meals and for your toilet paper almost. You know what I'm saying? But God bless this food, which now we eat and do us good for Jesus' sake. Don't forget that, okay? Bye, guys.